that non-call cost Johnny Manziel a second Heisman. And I'm sure voters across the land are rejoicing today that they are now off the hook having to even think about voting for Johnny Manziel, who I remind you, missed part of the fourth quarter the other day because he banged up his shoulder, his throwing shoulder, and still had 502 total yards against an Auburn that I had not watched until Saturday. Auburn's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Auburn's coming. Auburn will be no cakewalk for Alabama at Auburn at the end of this year. Okay. So I remind you, what happened was Johnny did hurt his shoulder, so he missed the end of that drive. It cost him a field goal to a touchdown and then missed the next drive, came back, and with the bum shoulder that he couldn't even lift, goes seven for seven and runs it in for the touchdown that puts him ahead. And then, of course, the worst major conference defense in college football, a ms immediately give up another touchdown, and all of a sudden it's 45 to 41, and here comes Johnny again. He escapes left. It is a clear grab of the back to yank down a horse collar. And you know what? Maybe that referee, deep down, <laughs> subliminally, <laughs> maybe he didn't like John the way Johnny conducted himself through the offseason. Because it can operate where you just don't like the guy. You think he shamed the Heisman Trophy as, as a recipient, as we talked about, the unwritten rule that you have to conduct yourself in a certain manner, and he did not. Maybe that referee, being the conservative man that he is, thought, I'm not going to give him this. I'm, because it would have been first and goal at the <laughs> six-yard line with 18 seconds left. And I'm telling you what, just as I said I wouldn't bet against Tom Brady from the 46, I definitely would not have bet against Johnny Football first and goal from the six with two or three plays to run because I, he would have run it into the end zone, if nothing else. And we would have been talking about, is it Jameis or Johnny for Jameis the Heisman? Or Johnny. Yeah. Horse call? Call uh, yes, yeah, that's debatable. I think it was close. It could have gone called either way. I prefer when the referees choose to stay out of the game in that situation and, and have a non-call like okay. that. But I, I can see your Yank point. Down. I can see where it could go the other way. <laughs> I agree with probably 90% of what you said. Ultimately, I think Johnny cost himself the Heisman. And I mean, 5% of it is his off-field stuff. I think they are going to hold that. I think you make a good right. point about yeah. that. Voters, maybe the ref, who knows. But I think you look back. You look at the two interceptions, which were very costly against, against Alabama. Alabama. You look at the two interceptions now, now remember, in this he's, game. He's trying to overcome the worst horrible defense, defense in the yes. land. But you have to remember, too, that horrible defense is allowing to put up all these numbers, too, because he has to go out there and score. And they're not in blowouts like an A.J. McCarron is, who doesn't get to put up any numbers because they're absolutely blowing out teams. I said it after the Alabama game, and I'll say it after this game. The guy who needs to be getting more attention is Mike Evans. I mean, he is the Calvin mm. Johnson, the Megatron of college football, and nobody gives him any credit. It's all about Manziel does this and Manziel does that, where that guy He's makes stud. Manziel yeah. look incredible. Johnny's the, yep. Johnny Manziel is the most exciting college football player we've seen. He's fun to watch. But I think it's those careless mistakes, his style of play, which I still maintain that does not translate to the next level. And I think the sloppiness of his play also is what cost him <laughs> the trophy. I'm not betting against him. Stand by. Him. Hold on. I don't want this to <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> you could say that it cost Johnny Manziel the Heisman all you want to. I definitely think that he should have been in the lead, but it's close because Mariota for Oregon, this dude has not thrown an interception all season long. Flawless. Johnny Manziel's rating's at 183. His is at 182. This dude has been close to flawless. He has more rushing yards than Johnny Manziel. He hasn't turned the ball over. He seems to be playing with more points. Now, obviously, Johnny Manziel's a big-time playmaker, and we understand that. And there's no doubt about it. He's got tremendous guts. He's not scared. He deserves strong consideration. He deserves to be in the lead to some degree. But you look at him. That's one point. Plus, they're undefeated. He's got two losses. Yes, it's the Alabama. It's the Auburn. But it's two losses, okay? All right? And one maybe, robbery. And, it's not, one and listen, loss. listen. <laughs> and here's the deal. He hasn't scored less than 41 points this season. Yeah. So we understand that. But at the same time, it's two losses. Mariota, zero losses. Undefeated. Stats are similar outside of a pass completion percentage. And then you look at Jameis. I was about to say, what about famous yeah. Jameis, this Stephen A? This dude right here, this freshman, mm -hmm. okay? This red fresh shirt, wrist, red shirt freshman. Yep. Mm -hmm. What he did against the number three ranked team in the nation. Skip, 
That was an annihilation in Death Valley. And it happened to the boys whose home is Death Valley. This was not a home game for Florida State. This was a road game. Yes, they were running the football from open and tap. They, Clemson couldn't do anything about it. Florida State's defense was surreal. Boyd looked horrible. I mean, it, it, he should... He should hide his face until Wednesday or Thursday. Just, 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 just stay away for a little while because it was bad. It was bad. Boyd got exposed, okay? But let me tell you something, Jameis. You look at his pregame speech, the way he was acting, how calm he was, relaxed, went out there and picked these boys apart. I'm sorry, Skip. You go out there as a redshirt freshman. Your team is undefeated. Y'all are balling the way that y'all are balling. And you've got a redshirt freshman yep. playing like this. I agree. I'm sorry, but you got the warrant consideration. Oh, this is not a runaway. Quickly, Dan uh, Danny, let me ask you this. Famous Jameis is as advertised. Absolutely. Cam coming into the season, I said he could leave Florida State as the best quarterback ever to come through that university. And he has even impressed me Richard with that. <laughs> oh, gosh. You, <laughs> That's two on. Heisman Trophy <laughs> versus two first-round picks. He's going to be yeah. better then. I, he has, he has I will been so impressive okay. at his age. I really thought he would have a freshman mistake or two. Unbelievable performance.